Hi everyone and welcome to another AdWords Hangout on Air. My name is Kathleen and I'm joined today by my colleague Al. We are part of the AdWords team based out of the Dublin offices. Um, so welcome to another Hangout. If you've never been with us before, just a couple things. If you're watching this live from the Google Plus page, you'll see there's a Q&A feature just to the right of your screen. Please go ahead and post any questions that you have throughout the Hangout. If you're watching this after the fact on YouTube, go ahead and check out the description link for timestamps down below where we'll be pointing out the specific parts of today's Hangout. So, Al is here to talk to us today about Google Analytics, um, why you should use it and how to first set up an account. Um, if you are a brand new advertiser and are not tracking your return, this is the Hangout for you. So, Al, great to have you here. And um, why don't you get us started on Google Analytics, why you should use it, who should have it. Sure thing. Hi, Kathleen. Hi. Hi <laughs> um, yeah, so at its core, uh, Google Analytics is a really powerful digital analytics tool. Um, and it's one, of the, it's one of the most powerful ones available, and it's free to use. So for a large or small business, um, it's really useful to, to be able to track all your digital activity. So an executive uh, of the business might use it to see which marketing initiatives are doing best, which customer segments bring in most revenue. Um, someone in marketing might use it to see um, how the website or how mobile apps actually turn site visitors into customers. Um, and the content team, your designers, might actually use it to see which parts of the website are easiest for the customers to use and, and which ones are best designed. Wow. OK, so it sounds like anybody in the business can get use out of the data in an analytics account. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. OK, great. So let's pretend we have brand new customers who've just set up their first AdWords account. Could you maybe walk us through how to set up analytics? Sure, yeah, absolutely. So for AdWords customers here, I mean, this would be the, um, the interface you're familiar with. You've got an AdWords account here. Um, now, you'll find a link to Analytics in Tools, and you've got Tools, Google Analytics here. Analytics has its own website, so you can go there directly, but this is a little bit of a handy link. Um, so when you first get started, um, you're going to get this little intro screen. It's going to guide you through actually setting up the Analytics account. It's got three main steps here, so we'll start with sign up. Um, now, the first question you get asked is whether you're tracking a website or a mobile app. A lot of our advertisers would be using websites, but just to let you know here, analytics can be used to track um, your users of mobile apps as well. So what they're actually doing in the application can be quite an interesting use for it. Um, so we've actually got a pretend website set up for dog walking. So we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and carry on with this example here. So that's the account name. And then the website name is here. So let me just copy this. This isn't a real website, of course. Um, it's just for the purposes of this test. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the website name in there and give the URL there as well. Um, things like industry category, I mean, these things are to help Google as well kind of understand people using analytics. So simple enough, we'll try and pick the closest um, closest category hobbies and leisure, I guess, to reporting. For so it's not really hugely important. It's just kind of the closest fit. That's right. Yeah, okay. this isn't going to change how analytics works at all, but it's 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 good to try and pick uh, the closest fit. And the reporting time zone, um, we'll, we'll just leave this as the default there. Obviously, keep this in your local time zone. It's going to be easiest for you. And, and all these data sharing options. I guess the most important one to pay attention to here, this technical support one is quite interesting. If you check this box, when you call the AdWords customer support team, we'll be able to help you out directly with analytics as well. So it's a good idea to leave that checked. OK, fantastic. All right, so the next stage, to get the tracking ID, you're going to get some simple terms and conditions for your Google Analytics account, depending on the country you're based in. Um, so you can accept those, of course, as long as you're happy with the terms and conditions. And uh, then if we go through, the first page you'll see is actually the tracking code. So it's going to get straight into that code you need to actually set up Google Analytics on your website. So this code here actually needs to go on every single page of your website. So usually a web developer is going to have some kind of template file, um, and it's going to be able to copy the code quickly to every page of the site. So I would copy that um, and just email that over to my web developer, and, and we're essentially set up. OK, great. So really easy. OK, so obviously, analytics is a powerful tool to use alongside your advertising. Yeah. Um, I know you need to link the accounts together. So could you show us how you would go about doing that? That's right, yeah. So, so we're here for, for AdWords customers primarily. And you know, once you've set up your analytics account, um, it's going to be able, going to be great to actually see your AdWords data in there. So to make sure AdWords is sharing that information, we're going to link them. So um, you want to be in the admin section first. So there's a few different sections of your account. But admin is where you make changes like this. So once you're in admin, the first thing you'd usually see is this view, three different columns. And in the middle column, the property column, you'll see an option here for AdWords linking. 
Okay. So we click that and go in. Um, I guess a useful point to make here is if you don't see it, you may not be the administrator of your analytics account. If you created okay. it, you will be. But if you were, say, invited to an analytics account your company already had running, you might need to request administrative access in order to do this. Okay, great. Anyway, so when we click on AdWords linking, Analytics has actually smartly already picked up the AdWords account. I haven't linked these up yet. As you know, I just set this up now, but it knows under my login email address that this is the account, this AdWords account I already have. So all I have to do is click Continue um, to say that's the one I want to use, and then it will say Select a View. Um, so views are different profiles you can set up in Analytics. When you get started, you're only going to have one, and for most people, you only need one. Um, if you want to give us a ring or chat through and find out more about different views and why you might need them, feel free to do so. But for this purpose, we'll just stick with this one view and just say link accounts. And that's it. Um, they're actually linked. Now, 24 hours from now, any AdWords clicks I have will show up in my analytics report. Okay, fantastic. So that's going to give us all of the AdWords information within analytics. And what about the other way around? Can we do that as well? Sure, yeah. So. You know, you might you might assume, I guess, that um, that now that we've linked them together, that they'll talk freely to each other. But, but these are different Google services, and um, we really need kind of the permission to share either way. So we've given permission now for AdWords to send data to Analytics, and to see that over in the AdWords side, we have to do another step, which is what you're what you're referring yeah. to. So I'll come back to the AdWords account here. So. Um, you've obviously got your ad here. Now, if you go into the cogwheel, top right corner, and see account settings, I'm just load that up here. Okay, this usually brings you straight into your preferences, but on the left you'll see there's an option for linked accounts. Now, the other thing you can link is Webmaster Tools as well, which is a slightly different service as well, but we're interested in this Google Analytics section. If I go into View Details, I can see here dog walking has appeared for me because it knows I've just linked it up. If you don't see anything here, you need to click. You need to complete the step we just did earlier. Okay. So if I go into dog walking, and we're selecting this view again, all website data is the default one we have. It's got all the data of the website in there. If I add that and save it, I'll just show you quickly what we're actually doing here. So it's just to confirm that this is what we're doing. Yes, I understand. Um, what I mean by you're going to see your analytics data in AdWords is if we go onto the campaigns, and just have a quick look at where you'd see this. It loads back up. All right, so your campaigns usually show you know, things like campaign name. You've got clicks and impressions over here on the right-hand side. Um, but if you customize your columns now, okay. um, there's an extra option for Google Analytics. So bounce rates, pages per visit, um, average visit duration, and percentage of visits. These things that AdWords doesn't track by default. Because we just linked it back, Analytics is going to send that over okay. to our AdWords account. Great. And if you keep tuning in this month, I think our guys in the States are going to cover a lot of information about how that information can be used to optimize your AdWords account. So tune in over the next few weeks. But um, So we've covered creating the account, linking it both ways, um, which a lot of people do forget is to link it back into AdWords, the analytics information. Um, and that's really great. Also, I would recommend that all of you who are advertising or an even have a website and don't use Google AdWords primarily to drive traffic. The great thing about analytics is it can be used to drive all, monitor all traffic driven to your website. So I think we'll leave it at that for today. Great. Um, thanks, Mill, for joining us. Um, again, if you guys have any questions about this topic or anything else, you know where to find us. You can get us on the phones, 24 by 5 chat, email, and we're on a lot of the major social network platforms. So just give us a, get in touch whichever way you prefer and we'll be happy to answer all your questions. Make sure to tune in next week for our second part of the analytics series this month and we'll be giving you lots more information about tracking your return on your business. Um, so yeah, so we'll just leave it at that today guys and have a great day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.